Hey guys, it's Face and Faith the Gaming here. I hope you're well. Guys, got a matchup for you uh, Chaos versus Bretonia. Um, I'm playing in Chaos. Uh, Cox is playing Bretonia. Uh, ooh, put down the uh, squeaky green frog. This is the armies there. Take a quick look. I'll run through everything in position um, and stuff like that when we get in. Um, as you see, Cox is taking quite a heavy um, infantry army um, for his sins, essentially. But. Um, We'll run through all the locations and stuff once it once it loads up. Um, it's quite a nice little map. I like this map. Um, opening kind of hills in the middle. Um, slow it down very quickly. So uh, I have three sets of Chaos Warriors. Um, just sat behind my uh, my Hell Cannon. Uh, a set of Harbords in the woods to the left. There's another set of Harbords here, which I'll throw into the back of the Hell Cannon for protection. Two sets of uh, Chaos Marauders. Prince Sigvald, the Magnificent, with the... Um, the armor that he gets, the regeneration armor. Uh, it's like 247 gold, is it? Um, totally worth it. Um, the Chaos Knights, normal there. A set of Chaos Knights with lances. These are absolutely bad men. Uh, they look amazing as well. Real cool models. Uh, two sets of Warhounds to the far right um, here, and two sets of Marauder Horsemen for harassment in the center there. Quickly talk about. Crocs' army. He's taken two sets of uh, cheapo peasant mobs. Um, three sets, four sets of battle pilgrim, two in the front line, two in the second line, left and right flank. Uh, King Lewin on foot. Uh, two sets of peasant bowmen in the second line, both with uh, box arrows. Uh, three sword men at arms without shields. Uh, spearmen at arms without shields and then spears in the front line times two with shields a uh, set of knights errant in either left and right flank um, and a royal hippogriff knights on the right flank with the also the royal pegasus knights um, kind of in vanguard deployment there uh, very quickly go back because I absolutely love the uh, the models for these guys are just pretty awesome Real awesome models. Uh, Going to be an interesting fight. I think um, kind of cheap Bretonian infantry maybe not be the uh, maybe not be the, the best. But uh, I know Crox likes to play Beastman. I know he doesn't play Bretonia very often, so maybe adopted a kind of a, a Beastman esque uh, army build where you can kind of take a lot of uh, a lot of cheap infantry with a couple of uh, ringers and. and Come out with a uh, come out with a good uh, kind of good base of an army. These guys are so flimsy as well. Like that's three-ish volleys from these marauder horsemen, and yeah, taking some taking some damage there. Um, I sally out to meet him. I want to try and keep the too much fighting away from my um, away from my hell cannons. Um, I think he's a bit throwaway with these. Uh, these knights errant, they, they're not, um, they're quite cheap and they do, uh, they do fall over and die quite a lot. They, um, they're not kind of send in roughy tuffy situation kind of cavalry. They do, um, yeah, they do take quite a lot of damage. Um, these mortal horsemen are a nightmare. I literally hate fighting against them as well. They can be a real, real pain in the, uh, pain in the ass. I'll slow it down. You can see what's going to, um, gonna happen. He kind of throws his errands in the back of these marauders, which, yeah, they get a good charge, and I think these actual marauders do kind of flee and route, uh, route pretty quickly, but these chaos warriors coming into the back of them are gonna just, yeah, you're gonna lose your errand to the to that there. You're looking at kind of battle pilgrims on marauders here. Chaos warriors are gonna hit spears here. Chaos warriors into kind of peasants and battle pilgrims here. Uh, I plonked a set of halberds like right on top of my, yeah, uh, Hell cannon crew to, to stop any of those kind of raw pegasus or anything getting the um, getting the wrong idea. My, uh, my chaos war um, warhams are on the way out, and as you'll see, kind of against Bretonia, they they really do pay for themselves. A lot of people throw their kind of warhams in at the beginning because they're quick and they can catch things and and you can, but it's super cheap. It keeps to the end, as you'll see from uh, the end of this fight. They really can be dangerous units, so some people throw them away a bit too early. I put this on full speed, but um, yeah, this is. Uh, they do send off those uh, those marauders. They manage to, uh, to to get out of the fighting, which is kind of yeah a good move because they don't want to be pinned down between uh, 
Chaos Warriors. Um, some some kind of cinematics, but unfortunately for most of these guys, they will get absolutely chewed up in that fight. Chaos Warriors are a much better kind of uh, much better infantry, and, and they're just going to make short work of those. Just send these um, Pegasus Knights in to kind of hit my uh, my Chaos Knights, and yeah. I think with these guys, you pay for the mobility. You do not pay for the. Uh, you do not. They're not kind of leave in or throw into a fight and then come out pretty well. He does pretty well. He gets them in, gets them out. I don't think he loses any models at all, which is yeah, it's kind of used well. He did a tiny bit of damage to my Chaos Knights, but was dangerous at best. He, he does throw yeah, kind of Aaron into the um, into the Hell Cannon, kind of desperate to get them off. He throws the Pegasus in as well, which this is the. Uh, does get a lot of them caught here and the halberds kind of surge forward to uh yeah to catch them out and you'll see very quickly these guys get they do get butchered and that's quite a, a loss of uh loss of units i'll slow it down because kind of the battles evolved a little bit with the kind of his knight errant being pretty butchered the hippogriffs aren't really one that you can use to um the kind of throw around the field a little bit he's got those in and they've kind of taken out a group of marauders which is great but he's left two sets of kind of marauder horsemen here and my chaos warhands just free run of the battlefield at the back and honestly these guys the chaos warhands against um bretonian kind of cheap infantry they honestly will rack up serious kills so anything that's running away at the moment or low or um kind of open these ones will just just chew through them and i think we get kind of both the sets of armors we kind of uh, archers we chew through um kind of all the peasant mobs and stuff that are running it's all flimsy infantry but these ones are super cheap as well and yeah just well all day just beat these guys up it's a real nasty charge into his uh archers who very quickly with their kind of low melee defense low leadership just will just yeah will just run and be really easy targets and he gets into his second group of archers as well. Uh, nasty. Oof, nasty. Just looking around the field, the um, uh, lancers are now getting involved. They're kind of into some men at arms, racking up nearly to a, a hundred kills. His actual lines of uh, infantry, they've held pretty well. They have some of them need 23 kills, five not so well. Battle programs probably were against marauders to begin with, so actually got some good kills. But I mean, the Chaos Warriors are. Uh, Nearly kind of 60, 70 kills now at the moment. Really starting to uh, to rack it up. Um, these guys here, and I think at this time is moment. It's really just a uh, a matter of time before um, the morale kind of takes foot and uh, catches everything out. Nasty, some nasty hell kind of shots there. Um, and yeah, with these. Uh, Coming in from the flanks here to catch these pilgrims out. Whoa, that's, I do not, uh, do not envy these guys. Kind of chaos warriors on one side, chaos knights and lancers on the other. Just yeah, not uh, not a good fight for them at all. Some regroupers in the distance there, kind of peasant bowmen. But it's quickly these chaos warriors are so useful. They're just getting across the field they very very quickly can go and just intercept those guys and they'll just shoot them up. Um, Lewin does make a break for right or wrong to, <laughs> to try and get into my hell cannon but finds himself kind of amongst a lot of Chaos Knights and uh, Prince Sigvold which will yeah as everything's morale very quickly starts to uh, to break all in all the um, power bar starts to uh, starts to move really into uh, into my favour and that's pretty much the um, the end of the uh, the end of the game a um, couple of things, I suppose. Bretonia, fighting against Bretonia as chaos is actually quite difficult anyway. The halberds and stuff, are, even the normal chaos halberds, are, they're just they're really nasty to, um, to fight against. That's his Lewin flee, and then yeah, the um, the end of the game. But playing against Bretonia as chaos, as sorry, playing against chaos as Bretonia is a really it's a really tough fight anyway. Um, the chaos kind of um, all the units, super heavy armor. Halberds are, are just absolutely lethal for your uh, for your cavalry. Bretonia don't really field any real decent 
um, infantry units. The foot squires will hold their own, but they're not. They're kind of not chosen, or they're not chaos warriors. So, a um, bit of a tough fight anyway. And then taking quite a low um, tier kind of infantry army. Like I said, there's a lot of beastmen probably. Um, having not played Petonia, thought it might might kind of help the situation. But yeah, just kind of meet the grinder of the kind of chaos warriors. Um, and the Knights of Lancers, you all kind of like Chaos Warriors racking up 100 kills. Knight with Lancers racking up 93 kills. The Warhands, like I said, we don't throw those away early on in the battle and kind of savor them until the end. I know they're fast. I know they can catch things. You can try and pin things down. But they can also be pretty useful on their own of kind of just anything that runs away is just dead. Kind of anything with low armor, low leadership, they'll just churn through that as well. L Cannon getting some really good kills. Obviously, there's a lot of models on the... Um, on the battlefield for that thing to um, to, to rack up kills. Um, his side kind of hippogriff knights. The difficult to use the royal hippogriffs. They um, they're expensive and they're absolutely brilliant if you can kind of pick the right targets for them. But otherwise, it's just yeah, they're expensive, low models, difficult to use, easy to get pinned down. Like I said, the royal pegasus knights are too easy to um, to get. It's just so mobile. You can just kind of oh, I can throw them in here, I can throw them in there. But if they get pinned down at all or in a bit of a nasty fight, that is kind of closer to their kind of stats similar to them they will get chewed up and die as well um so overall yeah good game i enjoyed that obviously as chaos just getting to butcher a load of uh, a load of Petonians, but um difficult one for um for crocs really uh, guys if you like the video like the content please give the um give the video a like subscribe to the channel releasing um regular uh, regular posts for uh, total war warhammer 2 um send a couple of other videos moving into a house relatively um, soon two to three days uh, better connection so i'll be streaming kind of a lot more um the new still faith is out in a day or two so i've got a load of campaigns i want to get underway i'll start rolling on and yeah so the next couple of weeks should be quite exciting quite a lot of content coming out um until then guys i'll, uh, I'll catch you again be safe cheers